If you are raised and schooled in the United States of America, and you have gone to school for 13 years, K through 12, and you aren't a racist, you weren't listening. Hello loves and welcome back again to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a particular video that Jane Elliot make. Yeah, got people talking. If you are raised and schooled in the United States of America, and you have gone to school for 13 years, K through 12, and you aren't a racist, you weren't listening. Now, people really resent it when I say that, but wait a minute, folks. Who do we say invented everything, discovered everything, did all the writing, did all the reading, people? Eventually, maybe you'll actually say when the teacher says, Christopher Columbus discovered America and he met those Indians here. There were no Indians here when Christopher Columbus got here. There were people from Africa who had been here for over 10,000 years before Christopher Columbus was born. It's time for us to teach our children the truth. And it's time for us to say, Okay, we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. People, everybody trace your DNA back as far as you can trace it. And you're going to find out that every one of you has in their DNA some DNA from a country in Africa. That's a fact. This particular video got a lot of content creators on TikTok to stick this video. They have a lot to say, but I've come together to just put some for us to you know, listen and watch together. There were no Indians here when Christopher Columbus got here. There were people from Africa. And this, my friends, is what we call ethnocentrism and indigenous erasure. I love that she tried to use the fact that racism is taught to us in school to help push this extremely inaccurate and problematic narrative or propaganda that black people or Africans are the real Native Americans and Indians never existed. Because the fact of the matter is, is racism and indigenous erasure is heavily embedded into our curriculum. But the narrative she's pushing that black people or Africans are the real Native Americans and Indians never existed is simply colonialism and white supremacy repackaged. The erasure and extermination of indigenous people, their cultures, and their status as indigenous people has always been a goal of the governments across the Americas and white supremacy. For Columbus discovered America and he met those Indians here. There were no Indians. Now I'm sure several people have seen that clip of Jane Elliott in the past couple days because this is what popped up on my For You page this morning. And see, I'm, I live in Canada and this is in the United States. But whenever I talk about this type of subject, people tend to forget and don't like look at my profile and they say that I'm American. I'm not American, but I digress. Now I've known, I've seen Jane Elliott for, for a while, for a long time. And I really liked what she was doing, you know, teaching white people to stop being racist, stop being ignorant. They're not better than everybody else against black people to stop being racist to black people. Here she is now teaching black people to be racist. Now, before anybody comes at me for that comment, just wait. I know it is not the entire community who thinks that way. There is a small percentage of black people who have this way of believing that ethnocentrism education that's going around because I've seen books on Amazon that are complete garbage. But I found a manuscript of, of her from 1968. Up here it says, who in the United States do we not treat as brothers? And then she goes on to say black people. And then who else? Sandra, Indian. And then Jane Elliott's like, yeah, absolutely Indians. And then down here, Jane Elliott, in the city, how many places in the United States, how are black people treated? How are Indians treated? How are people treated who are of different color than we are treated? And then they're not, they're not treated like, like great. And see, I did a little bit more research and no, I'm not talking about this failed verification is the one underneath it. Where it says in 1969, the BIA operated 226 schools in 17 states, including one on reserves and in remote geographical areas 1969 a year after that transcript a year after that she, like that thing with jane elliott was televised 34,605 students children were enrolled in those schools this is the united states these are the numbers in the united states 
And what's funny is the video, this is the profile where the video came from. Demanding a better education and a brighter future for every child. Except for indigenous children, apparently. When we were kids, parents said that words hurt. They do. Words can also be harmful and dangerous. I have been called every name under the sun by this small percentage of black people who believe that I do not exist and I'm, I'm, I'm Asian or I'm, I'm Mongolian or I'm Siberian, anything but my actual identity. So I'm extremely disappointed to see Jane Elliott talking with this rhetoric, this harmful rhetoric. At the end of the day, indigenous erasure is thriving, but I'll always be indigenous. Columbus discovered America and he met those Indians here. There were no Indians here when- If you just heard racist Jane Elliott declare that Native Americans were not here on Native, Amer uh, Native lands when the invaders came, the colonizers, but instead African people were here on Native lands, you need to unfollow her ASAP. If you declare yourself to be an indigenous ally, you need to hold her accountable for the racist ass declarations she's made. I'm not surprised at Jane, really. Who the hell do you think you are? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're talking about Native Americans like we're not here. We're fucking here. We're still fucking here. How dare you try to erase indigenous people, colonizer. Christopher Columbus discovered America and he met those Indians here. There were no Indians here. You know, she's right. There wasn't any Indians here from India when Christopher Columbus came. But because I know that the only reason that you're using the word Indians to refer to Native and Indigenous people is because of Christopher Columbus' ego as to him landing in the wrong place. I'll entertain it for a little bit. I am actively sick and tired of American revisionist historians. Like y'all live in a country where your own senators and government officials will vote to not teach the correct, accurate history in your school. Then get on a platform and be like, schools are not teaching you the correct history on Christopher Columbus. Even though Columbus had nothing to do with y'all. Christopher Columbus had nothing to do with the United States history. As someone who is Taino, Afro-Indigenous, from the Caribbean and a descendants from the African ancestors that were brought over and the Taino ancestors that were already in the island. Stop colonizing Puerto Rico, get out of Haiti, and keep our name and history out your mouth. Discovered America and he met those Indians here. There were no Indians here when Christopher... I used to have respect for this woman and the anti-racism work that she has done over the years. However, that has since stopped since she is pushing pseudo-history misinformation and adding to the erasure of indigenous peoples. Now I went to her website and I left her a very long message. And if you'd like to do the same, you can go to her website as well. There it is. I would highly encourage the community to go let her know how you feel about the indigenous erasure that she is causing. Do not threaten because that's not what we do and demand a public apology for the misinformation that she is continuing to spread about indigenous peoples and our histories. Making TikToks about her isn't gonna cut it because she will never see them. You have to go directly to the source. Again, do not threaten violence, but let her know that she is wrong and she needs to apologize for it. And she needs to correct the misinformation and the indigenous erasure that she is spreading met those Indians here. There were no Indians here when Christopher Columbus got here. Hey, so go watch that video in its entirety and then you can come back and we can discuss it in comments if you'd like. Um, I'll start off by saying I understand that the creator was trying to make a statement about anti-racism. Uh, kudos for that. Uh, I will also start off by saying I am an indigenous person. Uh, but I speak only for myself, not for the entirety of Indian country, not even for a part of Indian country. I speak for myself only. Um, that being said, the video is the, the that presentation is problematic um, because it explicitly practices indigenous erasure. The bottom line is ancient human migrations are much more complicated than we we discover they're more complicated every year and they're much more complicated than we originally thought. Um, we aren't all descended of, from countries in Africa because Africa as a country, Af Africa as a continent 
by name didn't exist during the ancient human migrations, not ancient African migrations, ancient human migrations. Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa. Are we all homo sapiens? Yes, we're all related. No one's denying that. What we are, what indigenous creators continue to have to point out to people is that being the indigenous people of the United States and Australians, Aboriginal peoples go through the same type of uh, uh, scrutiny, um, being subjected to the idea that our indigenous ancestors were simply the first of the, the worldwide tourism to arrive here. Um, ancient human migrations are very complicated. We know, for a, as an example, the Diné people of the Southwest, you might know them by the term Navajo, the Diné people of the Southwest are linguistic related, linguistically related to peoples in uh, far eastern Russia in the steppes up on the other side of that Siberian land bridge. Uh, that's a whole different video on uh, possibly debunkable theories about human migration. But uh, what most people won't tell you, because they don't know, is that the Diné language as it's spoken in the Americas is the older language. So that migration, linguistically, at least went the other way. We know that. Linguistically, that migration went the other way. Ancient human migration isn't just simply a group of, of Africans going out into the world. It's a group of Homo sapiens going out in different places of the world. But when we state it in any other way than talking about ancient human migrations, we practice indigenous erasure. Plain and simple. You may not like that, but from the indigenous perspective, or at least from this indigenous person's perspective, that's exactly what you do in order to create for yourself a place in the indigenous landscape. Tell me what you think. This video is for educational and commentary purposes. So kindly leave your opinion down in the comment section. Your opinions are accepted down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching this video to this point. My name is Maria David and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.